good day to you. We're doing a 30 minute full body strength workout using our weights today. I'm using eights, I'm using threes. You're welcome to use something heavier, something a little bit lighter. We're gonna be working the whole body, so make sure to just get your sweat on with me. We're gonna start with a beautiful three and a half minute warm up, totally body weight. Take a deep breath in with me. We're gonna get it started right now. Take it in, reach up. Exhale, fold your way forward, soften the knees, let your head rest. Inhale, rise your way up, reach up. And exhale to fold. As you fold, just let your whole upper body melt towards your thighs. Inhale to lift up last time. And exhale to just deeply fold forward. Feel free to bend your knees, extend your knees, shake your head out at the base here. Roll your way up, shake it off. We're gonna get started right here with this lunging series. So just take it back with me, alternate your feet. There's some single leg balance in today's workout. So I really wanna just prepare you for the option to maybe have a little bit of struggle and embracing that struggle. You'll see me struggle too, because guess what? I too am a human being. Give me one more lunge and we're gonna go to the sides. So today we are going around the world. And when I say that, we're talking lunges, baby. So right now we're just getting our bodies lunging right away before we add any weights to this equation. Give me one more lunge on each side. And we're gonna do something called a diagonal lunge. So you're gonna bring it across and switch. Check out my front foot as I do that. I'm keeping my foot pointing directly forward. Yeah, my toe could curl up if that feels good. Or you could plant your toes on the floor. It's practitioner's choice. Let's go one more time each side. And we'll finish here with our front lunges. So take a little step back, give yourself some room. As I do this, I'm using my, op my opposite arm for this like little counterbalance moment. Leaning my upper body a little forward. Last lunge, right and left. Meet me with your feet nice and wide apart. Turn your toes out. Sumo squat and squeeze. Squat and squeeze. Aiming your toes out and really squeezing your glutes together as you stand. <sighs> Couple more reps here. Yes, last one. Meet me in a hinge position. I'm gonna turn a little bit on a diagonal. I'm gonna reach my arms over my head, out to the side, and squeeze. The arms reach up, arms reach out, and squeeze. Give me one more. Three is the magic number in comedy, and it's the magic number in our fitness. Good, roll those shoulders back. Bring the arms forward, squeeze together. Today we're gonna to do something called postural work. So we're gonna work on our posture using the dumbbells. And right now I'm just focusing on squeezing my shoulder blades together behind me to finish out in four, three, two. Step your feet together, squeeze your legs together, bring your arms up into a W position. One palm faces down and then the other. I'm gonna call this a scarecrow today. So think about squeezing the legs, sinking low, our warm up is almost over, team. So, we're gonna get into the real work here in just a few moments. Let's finish the warm up in three, in two, and last little bit, a little bit of jumping jack. If you're not jumping today, that's totally fine. You can totally step your feet. Okay, good. And that is time. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our dumbbells. I'm using eights today. They're gonna go on the shoulders. Just the left leg is gonna move side to side. So we're gonna come forward first, front lunge, side lunge, diagonal, we're going around the world, behind, and a curtsy. Again, front lunge, off to the side. Really lead with your hip. Stick your hip back and then directly behind you and across the hip. The heel of my right foot is pointed directly down to the earth. I'm not letting it waver. I'm really rooting in. Good, we're gonna switch our legs. So keeping the weights exactly where they're at, front lunge, off to the side, back to the corner, directly back and across. 
I don't know about you, but it's my standing leg. My standing leg starts to go, wait a second, what's going on? Why are we here? <laughs> I know. I feel like the first bit of any workout, I'm like, huh, what? So just take a moment, put yourself here, remind yourself this is temporary, and really soak it up as much as you can. Right, three, two, drop off the dumbbells. We will need them in just a hot minute. But right now we're gonna move into cardio. So we're gonna squat down slow and low, jump up and cross the legs. Whoa, jump up and cross the legs. If I'm not jumping today, I'm gonna squat down low. I rise, I sweep the leg, I come back. I rise, I sweep the leg, I come back. Otherwise with the jump, whew, slow and low, whew, slow and low. So see how the rise is happening at a very slow rate? Drop in, whew, slow rise, whew, slow rise. Oh my gosh, my thighs. It's so good. Whew, two, and now we're gonna grab those eights again. And you could absolutely grab something heavier. My feet about shoulder width apart. Squeeze the back of my body together. Tap the dumbbells in front of the hips. Squeeze to exhale, pull the rib cage in, inhale. I'm drawing like a semicircle around my body. The wider I have that semicircle, the more I have to brace through the ribs and squeeze through the hips. Slow circle. A lot of strength today. A lot of focusing up on what's happening in the torso. What's happening in the back? Good. This is your rest of about 30 seconds. We're gonna use the uh, dumbbells here in just a moment. We started with the left leg last time. In this next set, we'll move the right leg and here's what's gonna happen. Those dumbbells aren't gonna rest on my shoulders. They're gonna come at my eye line. So I have this isometric kind of overhead press ready to go. You could keep it where it was on the shoulders or they could be at your sides if you're really struggling today. Grab the dumbbells, right leg moves in two and one. Right foot's gonna step ourselves forward, then out to the side, to the corner, to the back, and across. So say for example, you're like, wow, that's heavy. Take a moment, do it again. Front to the side, heel is rooted in on that left side and to the back, woo, and across, right? I mentioned this, I told you, this ground's a little uneven, and I'm making my best effort happen. Good, I'm switching sides in three, two, take a quick moment to set up, bring the arms right back up, hello, and I come forward, I come out, I come to the corner, and then directly back. So you'll see, I'm starting to fatigue. Maybe I put my weight back on my shoulders and I do the rest of this with integrity, right? Not everything has to be the hardest variation. There's always an option to keep moving and moving well. Woo, hello, front. I'll try it again. Out to the side, just a few more seconds, I can do it. I can do it to the back and across. Drop off the dumbbells. We've got this little cardio break. Drop low into your sumo. Rise, rise. Try to alternate which heel comes in front. I'm not great at that, but here's the deal. I don't get better if I don't ever address it. <laughs> it's true. Whew. Remember, if you need that modification, it's a squat, sweep the leg, drop back in. Squat, sweep the leg, drop back in. Toes are turned out, otherwise, we're here. Eight seconds. It feels like an eternity when you're jumping <laughs> two in time. Good, pick up your dumbbells. Good, feet about hip width apart, so we're getting a little narrower. Knees are soft, glutes are tucked. I come in front, I come around, squeeze the back body. So for me, 
I can't actually get my arms too far back. Doesn't mean that's a bad thing. I'm just working on opening up the chest, closing the back. Why? Why? Because we do a lot of front stuff, right? We do a lot of eating, driving, watching TV. We're kind of hunched forward. This exercise directly affects that moment, how we can stay in a long posture. This is your quick break. So set your dumbbells down. Now's a great time to grab that sip of water. Just check in on yourself. We're gonna be moving into some cardio that's single leg. We're gonna do a single leg squat hop. Good news, we're just gonna do one side and then we're gonna get into some more weight work. Now I'm gonna use my lighter set of dumbbells for this round. And then in the second round, if I wanted to amp it up, I could maybe grab my heavier ones. However, it's upper body. So just have that in mind when you make your decision, making it with integrity, of course. So starting off, I'm just gonna demonstrate for you. You're gonna balance on your right foot, left leg is lifted. You're gonna squat down as low as you can. So I'm showing this a little bit of an angle and hop up. Same leg for the whole duration, which is 45 seconds. Are we in? We're in, we're doing it, we're here. We're gonna make every moment count. Team, find balance on the right foot. We go in two, one, let's go. I'm taking a little pause at the bottom so I can find my stability. You could hop around your space. That might make it more interesting. You get one opportunity, one shot. I feel like Eminem. One shot, one opportunity, mom spaghetti. You get one opportunity to work that single leg squat hop. If I'm not jumping or if I'm really struggling with balance, two things could happen. I lift off the heel. I land my toe. I lift off the heel. I land my back toe. So there's options here. Finishing side one. You're only doing this side and time. Grab your lighter set of dumbbells. Mine are threes today. Okay, they go on your hands. My feet are hip distance apart. I'm gonna do an overhead reach, a fly, and squeeze my shoulders to rise. Come with me again. I hinge, I reach over my head, I fly out, and I squeeze to rise. On my hinge, I wanna make sure my knees are soft. I'm not locking the knee joint. Palms open, and squeeze to roll those shoulders, squeeze my seat too. Inhale, showing you head on, reach. The degree of my back doesn't have to be crazy, right? So for example, maybe I can only hinge here. That's cool. You're hinging. Two, one. Keep your weights, find a little chair pose, and we're gonna drive the car. In fact, let's drive the semi. Can you make your steering wheel bigger? So the bigger the steering wheel, the more work. Can you move slower? Can you sink into the legs more? So many legs, so little time. Keep those shoulders plugged in. You're a little over halfway. Listen team, we only have about a 30 second break between these sets. So already have in mind, what am I gonna do in my break time? How can I be efficient with that? And be right back on this train, this workout train. And that is time. Holy cannoli, I'll tell you what. I am feeling it. So you're gonna do this again, only this time we're gonna balance on the left. Some of us are like, yay, the left leg. And some of us are probably like, hold the phone, this is crazy. Um, all right, pick up your weights. We're gonna get it started. <sighs> going, oh, that's a lie, lies I tell you. We go into that single leg squat. Timer starts in three, two, one, here we go, lift it up. So I know right away, left leg is gonna be a little bit of a bear for me. So if that's the case, right, I drop down nice and low, spring on that, lift off and land with control. I'm using my arms significantly here. Less is more, quality over quantity. How can I drop in and lift? I have my eyes fixed on one focal point. That's super helpful, right? So if I'm staring something down, that balance is a little easier to achieve. Good, five more seconds. Two, 
and time. Good, grab your weights. I'm gonna use those light weights again. You could absolutely go a little heavier. My feet are together this time. I'm gonna hinge at the waist, reach the arms up, reach the arms out, and then as I rise, lift the leg and shoulder roll. So I'm finding that single leg balance again. Hinge, reach, reach out, and roll to rise. So I'm finding that single leg balance yet again. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull apart, shoulder roll and rise. Oh, single leg balance is getting me today. You feeling this yet? Shoulder roll. Good, we got time to finish this out. Open and rise. Good, okay. Keep those weights in your hands and we drive the bus. We drive the semi. Or maybe we need to make it a little race car, right? So maybe it needs to be close to my chest. What I'm trying to do is get this shoulder rotation going on while the legs post exhaust. Right, so I feel my thighs, I feel my inner thighs. I feel my legs starting to kind of shake. It's a good feeling, but man, it's a struggle, right? Nine more seconds, we've got one more action, and we move into our last set of work today. Two in time. Bring the arms out wide. Give me a little traditional step touch. Pull together, open out. Pull together and open out. Oh. Woo, hello back, hello chest. If I need to lower the weights a little bit, maybe they're along my jawline. If I wanna make it harder, they're a little higher, maybe over the crown of my head. If I'm really struggling, meaning, man, those weights are just a little too much on my shoulders today, I'm doing it body weight, low impact cardio, super attainable, still breath filled aerobic activity. Good, listen up, 30 seconds to rest in two, and that is time. Shake it all off, we're gonna head down to the mat. Today we're doing a Turkish get up. So in this recovery period, when you're moving in to the work, focus on one action at a time. The get up is a big movement. It requires so much of our attention and our time. So really pay attention to doing this with integrity. I'm gonna use a single dumbbell, I'm gonna use my eight today, and we start on the ground. So while we're in recovery, just paying attention to what's going on. If I've got the knee bent on the right, the weight is also on the right, that's step one. Step number two, the left arm's gonna come out to the side. Go ahead and come with me, we're gonna do this together. I exhale to lift my weight up, place the hand behind my hip, lift my hips up, then I slide that knee back. That's the hard part right there. I push my way up to that half kneel position, eye on the bell, and I rise my way to stand. I come down the same way I got up. My knee comes down, my hand comes down. I kick my heel out, I land my butt, and I lower down. Okay, so that was our practice run. We are gonna start with the right arm, which means the right heel is fixed into the floor. Take a quick moment, just kind of notice what's going on. Place the left hand. Team, we're gonna go in two, one. Here we go, exhale to lift. Place the hand behind you, inhale, prepare, exhale, lift. Place the knee behind you, inhale, prepare, exhale, lift. Good, curl the toes, rise up. Maybe I wanna bend my elbow and just take a moment here. Press my way up, I step it back into the lunge. My hand comes down, I kick my heel away, I set my hip, and I roll down with one vertebrae at a time. Good news about these really complex activities is you don't get a lot done. So it's quality over quantity, talking our way through this Turkish getup. Rise and stand, tap, rise, come back through the lunge, hand comes down to the mat, kick the heel out, lower the hip, roll down. Team, we're gonna switch right now. So left hand, which means the left knee bends, which means the right hand grazes the floor. Exhale, push my way up to the sit-up. Exhale, lift my way up into the hips, drive my knee back, rise, and then I press my way up. 
tap my shoulder, press. I lunge it back, I lean away. I kick the heel, I rise my way back in. Now, keep on trucking. I'm gonna turn myself around so you can see what it looks like on this side. I lift my way up, I drive my hips, I slide my heel back, it's so hard. Press my way up, abs in tight, looking forward, rise to stand. Tap, and you're done. So set your dumbbell down, walk your way to the back of your mat. So for me, I'm gonna face this direction. I'm gonna walk out into a push-up. Walk out into a push-up. Wide grip, walk my way back, bend my knees and roll myself to stand. Bend my knees, walk it out to a push-up. Now this time I'm doing two. Every time I come down, I'm gonna do one extra push-up. Spending more time for push-ups. Now the next time we come around, we're gonna add into this push-up nonsense. I do three push-ups at the base here. Squeeze my seat, arms out wide, two and three. Last exercise in the series, I come into a kneeling position. You will want your heavier set of dumbbells. Okay, so kneeling position, my toes are untucked my dumbbells come in front of my chest. I squeeze, I release. I squeeze and release. So from the side, if I just angle myself a little bit, you can see whew, hips squeeze together. My weights are in front of my chest. Maybe next time I'll add a little something. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It means we're definitely adding something, guys. Good, 10 more seconds. Focus on that pelvic tuck. Focus on the abs drawing in there. Finishing in two, and time. Good. So that's your 30 second rest. We're gonna start with the Turkish get up, facing this side, which means the left arm's gonna have the dumbbell. If you are struggling through any portion of that, work at the level you're at, meaning maybe I just come up from the sit up and I come back down. Maybe I just come up down from the lunge and I do my side lean, right? There's nothing wrong with any of that, as long as you're moving. You're good. All right, my friends, left and left. Here we go, exhale to lift my way up. Hand places, lift my hips, slide that knee back. Eye on the bell, press my way up, rise to stand. Maybe I keep that arm fully straight this whole time. I drop into my lunge, I reach behind me, I kick that heel forward, set the hips down, roll down. Right back into rep two, set the hips, Slide the knee, eye on the bell, rise it up. Lunge it back, place the hand, kick the heel, lower the hip, lower the chest. One more, lift your way up, hips, slide, rise. Come back down to finish, reach, kick the heel, switch the arms at the base. Right arm, right? So just gonna turn around so I'm not in the shadows here. I'm gonna lift my way up, Press my hips up, slide my knee back, rise. All the way to stand, eye on the bell, bring it back. Hand, heel, hip, and roll. Right back up on it. Hips, heel slides back, rise. Squeeze, eye on the bell, roll it down. Kick that heel back, slide your hip down to the floor, lower down. Last one, that is time, saved by the bell. Okay, bring your weights up at the top of your mat. We're adding into your push-ups. So step your way all the way to the back. Walk it out for push-ups. One push-up, set your knee, rise up, give me one upright row. Set the dumbbells down, walk your way back, rise up. So you know what we're adding. Two push-ups, two upright rows. Here's your push-ups. Set your knees down. Upright row one. Upright row two. Set your weights down. Walk yourself back. Quality over quantity today, people. This is it. Three, two, and that is time. You didn't get to your upright rows, all is well. Grab your dumbbells. We're in a kneeling position. 
this is an opportunity, right? I do my upright rows this time. Whew. To finish it out. Since we only got a couple upright rows in, we're finishing with this. Kneeling thrust, pull that weight up to the collarbone, squeeze your seat. Finish line is coming. Stretch city for me, stretch city for you. Population us, finish line in five, four, three, almost there. And that is your rest. Okay, so we've got a few minutes to stretch. Let's take a seat first. Cross your legs. Take your hands to your knees, lift your chest. Just let the heart rate come down for a moment. Let the air out. Round your spine, scoop your belly, tuck your chin, tuck your tail, drop the shoulders. Inhale to rise up. Take your right hand to the floor, left arm reaches up and over. Ring out the wrist. Come back through center. Hands come right to the knees. Round your spine, scoop everything down and in. Rise up, opposite hand comes down. I reach up and over, little ring of the wrist on the opposite side. Good, from here, slide the legs behind you. Land in all fours for another moment. Take one leg straight back, and we're gonna do a little lift and extension. So check out my foot. I'm flexing my foot. I'm feeling that stretch to the back side of the leg, the lower limb, and then releasing. Flexing and releasing. One more time. And then we're gonna step that leg out to the side. Shift back and shift front. My back remains pretty flat here. Nice little floss through the inner thigh. And then I'm gonna step the knee back onto the mat, showing this to you head on for the other side. I'm gonna kick it back, shift my weight front to back, front to back. I'm showing this to you from the side, I think it'll help. Just so you can see what's going on with the calf muscle. Then I'm gonna kick that leg out to the side in alignment with the knee, shift my weight back and shift it front. So some of us might feel more intense stretch through the inner thigh. Feel free to back out of that as much as you need to. You wanna feel a stretch, but no pain. So pain-free stretching. Good, and then from here, from all fours, come on down to your back body. So on your back you go. Lie here for just a moment. Soles of the feet meet, splay the knees out. Nice little stretch to passively open up the hips just for a breath, big inhale and exhale it out. <sighs> Close the knees down, step, step the feet wide apart, maybe even off the mat, and tent the knees in. So this internal rotation of the hip might feel a little funky. I know for me, it's like I'm really tight here, so it can be really intense. Let's bring our arms out to a nice little goal pose, and we're just gonna windshield wiper the legs from right to left. So getting that rotation in super passively like we did just a moment ago, just kind of noticing what's going on. And then we're gonna drop one knee in really tight, take the other leg, fold it over that, and then turn the head all the way over. So this is my left leg. I'm turning my head to the left and just feeling the sun soak onto my face. Come back to the center, switch the foot on top. So now my left foot comes on top of my right, and I'm gonna turn my head all the way over to the right. Full spinal twist with a little IT band stretch, really nice. One more inhale here. And then on the exhale, release that foot. Go ahead and hug the knees into the chest. If this feels good, grab the back of the legs and pull the heels closer towards the armpits. So some of us might grab here, and some of us might grab here. Whatever feels accessible to you today is good. Nice. From there, rock your way up to a sit, seated position. Let's go ahead and cross our legs one more time. Take your hands in front of your heart. It's been so lovely getting to work out in such a beautiful space with you. My name is Mandy with Jimra. Have such a lovely day, and I hope you had a great workout. Peace.